As Europe struggles with austerity measures, more Eurozone countries are looking abroad to strike trade deals to boost their economies. One region they're targeting is Latin America. Dan Collins takes a look at the recent free trade agreement between the EU, Peru, and Colombia. 2013 is looking to be a landmark year for EU and Latin American trade relations. Despite its current woes, the EU remains the world's biggest economic bloc and the biggest foreign investor in Latin America. Now, Peru's Vice Minister for Foreign Trade, Carlos Posada, told CCTV that a market like the EU can't be ignored, even when it's struggling. Considering that EU, they are more than 500 million people, we are willing to, just, this is just an example, we are willing to export, let's say, one grape per person, so that would be five mil, 500 million of grapes, and the same in t-shirts, and the same in fisheries, and the same in, in agribusiness or industrial products. Right now, minerals make up more than 60% of Peru's exports. Now, Lima wants to boost the range and quality of the products it ships abroad. All of these diverse, exotic and also organic Peruvian products will now have tariff-free access to the European Union. And for the EU's 27 nations, their telecoms and auto industries will also have open access to one of the world's most dynamic emerging economies today. Under a staggered reduction of trade tariffs, the EU could eventually save a quarter of a billion dollars a year trading with Peru and Colombia. And for a Europe in crisis, trade is going to be crucial to get out of it. Well, I think that uh, we need to, in part, I think, export ourselves out of the crisis. I mean, that's, that's just one element of the, the solution. Above all, the deal aims to help small and medium-sized businesses. Built into the deal are trade safeguards and commitments to sustainable development in Peru. For European businesses, Peru could even be a bridge across the Pacific to new markets in Asia. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.